Okay, good day everyone. This is Dar Satro, the most handsome, yekebo African nations, adrenaline pumping, a physical mama husband. And as usual on this channel, you know we are always concerned about the youth of Africa and how to reach out supportive end to them via our foundation. Today, I have with me in the studio one of the youths of Africa. Uh, she's going to be telling us a little bit of her stories and uh, I found her story so touchy and uh, where we need to come in as great people in this foundation on this channel, we'll see how we can help ensure that we turn the tide of our story to a new tone that she can smile at the end of the day, she can learn and take corrections from what uh, she might have done wrong in the past, but not allowing that to debar her the joy that she still has ahead of her life. And I welcome to the studio Elizabeth. Okay, over to you, Elizabeth. Hello, my name is Nicholas Elizabeth. I'm 23 years old. Okay. I'm from Enugu State. Okay. And I'm a single mom. Okay. So I would like the foundation to help me and make my dream come true because I love to be a fashion designer because that's my fashion. Okay. You have interest in fashion designing. Okay, yes. before before we go into what you have interest in, you said you are a single mom. Yes. How old are you, please? I'm 23 years old. 23 years old, okay. At 23, one would expect that you would have gotten some level of education. What was your highest level of education? I mean, SSC. SSC order, okay. Over here, uh, we are talking of SSC order, that's just uh, high school. Yes. Junior or senior high school. Okay, so with that being said, that means you still fall within the age range of youths that we can assist. Yes. But uh, on this channel, we want to make sure that you are really serious before we offer the support you are asking for. How serious are you about fashion? I'm serious. You know, that has my dream. I already said to my children, even though I didn't go to university, I want to have my own fashion yeah. school so that I can able to teach others. Why did you stop at a secondary school level of education? They don't support that because my dad is late. And nobody wants to start up to like come and assist us. Okay. So you are presently 22 or 23? I'm 23 this year. Okay, that means you are 22 now. No, I'll be 24 this year. Okay, you'll be 24 this year. When? April 6. April 6, you're going to be 24. Okay. So I just want, I'm, I, I know the reason why I'm asking you this question, but. I don't want you to think that all hope is lost. All hope is not lost. It's even good that you are realizing some of your mistakes now. Would you say to yourself that you have made some mistakes? Yeah, I really did so because if they can twist back the clock, <laughs> I'll try to. You shouldn't have. You wouldn't have done what you did in exactly. the time. Okay, but no, you don't need to kill yourself over skilled milk. Yes. Yes, sir. The right decision you just made is what you are doing now. What determines your life is not what you have done in the past, but what you are doing right about now to correct the mistake of the past. Okay, so uh, she reached out to Rose uh, at Cetrus Foundation uh, place that she needed our support to get her trained in fashion. And uh, I come to the next question. What about the father of the baby you carry? <laughs> How old is the baby? She just left one plus. January, two year general will make her a year. Wow. Since wow. Will make her more year. Oh, the baby is already reaching out for the candy. Do you know how to take candy? <laughs> Help me open the candy for her. Okay, so, so that she, uh, she'll be able to be busy with the candy while we are conducting the interview with the mom. 
What's the name of the baby? Everybody is gifts. Oyinye What's the meaning of Oyinye Gift. Gift of God. Gift of God. Okay. Uh, firstly, I must say that I'm happy that you did not even intend, you did not try to abort the baby. Yes. You understand? That you gave birth to the baby shows that there is still hope. Yes. You understand? Now, the father of the baby, what about him? Uh, they rejected my they rejected me while I'm pregnant because someone that doesn't want you, as in, he doesn't even want to see this thing. What about the family of you the, know the family? Wow. I've talked to the father, I've talked to the sisters. The sister told me I should move on and she forget about it. So wow. I've moved on. Wow. And I pray to God Almighty that God who have the same be true, surely see me true to David. Okay. Okay. Ah. At this point, I would just like to state this. I, I hope you not, don't be annoyed with what I want to say, but whenever mistakes happen like that, it's for the correction of the people that are coming behind. So if you are a youth out there and you are seeing this, you need to understand the fact that when you are still looking beautiful, young and the like, numerous boys, numerous guys will be coming with their sugar-coated mouths. Most of the time, when they get you pregnant, they will refuse to accept the baby. They will reject you. Despite the fact that they've been saying, I love you, Tori Tonu. I love you up and down. I love you more than the mosquito net. You can see the baby laughing. <laughs> the baby is even confirming it. That please beware. Beware of these, you know, these guys, mushroom guys, tiny skin, trouser guys. They do not have anything to offer. Oh. The only thing they have to offer is pregnancy. And once they do that, they go to the next girl. So, youth, be careful, beware, so that your future can be smooth sailing. So, but we are happy today that we are going to be there to support her if she's serious in training her as she's turning a new lead now. So, what would you say is your worst regret? Uh, I'm in Vegas now. <laughs> okay. Because uh, um, I, I didn't even dream that I'll be able to be pregnant at this time. Even though I'll be pregnant, I to be my own husband. But the way it came, I was still there in the middle of God below. But in my next life to come, <laughs> I'll never do such mistakes. Let me first of all correct you there. Because I, I love mm -hmm. Auntie, don't disturb us. Because I love to balance things. Number one, don't let us hang things that we would have corrected. Don't let us hang it on God. Because that is the aspect in Africa. We tend to hang too many things on God. But the aspect that I'm happy with, which I know that in the next six months, one year, you will come back and do a new video exactly. to show what you have been able to achieve. Yeah. And the so-called young guy, or let me call him young boy, that puts you in this family way, we see something different about you and we know that he has really missed something precious. So now I want you to stay focused and be ready to go the long way. It's not going to be easy. Nobody's promising you easy. Nobody, nobody has money to give. But what we have to give you is what? Skills that will make you money. Are you with me? And by the time your designs are out, by the time you are very good at fashion, we will help to promote your business across the world. Are you with me? So the owners lies on you now to be ready to learn. No excuses. Anytime there is training, you make yourself available. Even with the shortest, uh, what's it called? Notice. You make yourself available, you practice. And when we discover that you are very, very serious, look at what I said, very, very, very serious, we might end up getting you a machine. So that you can be making money from home. And the other aspect is that she also says she is interested in acting. Her interest in her acting is going to be subjected to some tests and grooming so that we can see how she performs. Just like as I was saying, uh, we have our second channel where it's all going to be about short movies from these African youth that we are helping to develop their talent. Because by the time we begin to engage them like this, a whole lot of them will be rescued out of uh, early pregnancy, 
uh, thank God she didn't try to abort the baby. Maybe she would have lost her life in the process. So if you are there as a youth and they have been hunting quarrels here, Lori, they have been dropping fine fine words on your head. Majority of the boys we have around now, they just want to deposit spams. And once they do that, they've gone. They've gone to the next girl. The father of this baby now, I'm sure, is sleeping around with some other girls now. And once they get pregnant, they are on their own. So in dudes out there, don't allow yourself to be preyed upon by these unserious elements we have in the society. And my prayer is that African youth will wise up and not allow themselves to be deceived. So, officially, I want to say, uh, I think my wife has given you the form to fill. Fill it correctly. Make sure that you read through. Because those are the bases that we're going to use to assess you. So that we can really, really go ahead. Because if you fail to comply, if you are not serious, the same way we are talking about you now, and we are showing you to, because the people we are showing you to now, when you are if when you become a professional tailor, professional designer, they are the people that will be patronizing you. They will be saying, ah, I want the design from that lady. What's her name? Elizabeth. Elizabeth. You can even call it Lizzie fashion. Lizzie art fashion. So, so at the end of the day, your life must just turn around. I wish you all the best. So with that being said, uh, this, we've come to the uh, end of this. In the second video, don't mind me, I have youths. All the youths I have in the studio with me today, they are pregnant. <laughs> so, but it's something that is good that we need to work on. In the second video, I'll be showing you, I'll be bringing another story of another of our African youths that is interested in, I don't want to tell you what she's interested in, but she also has been impregnated by a young man, though, there is another part of the story. So watch out for the next video when we'll have it. With that, from all of us at Cetro's blog, we want to say thank you so very much. So we are so happy to have you always with us here. And following up on this youth, you have been seeing the before and after of so many youths, so many youth that will pick on the streets, so many that we have assisted in one way, and their lives have been transformed. Some of them are learning photography, videography, fashion, and the likes. So we want to say thank you so very much. In the next video, Bye-bye.